Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 6 in Microsoft Fabric playlist. In this video, we are going to focus on what is one leg in Microsoft Fabric. So we have been discussing about what is Microsoft Fabric, uh, what is workspace means, different terminologies in the Microsoft Fabric, everything. So this is continuation to that videos. So if you haven't watched previous videos, then try to watch previous videos of this playlist, then come to this playlist or this video so that you will get most out of this one. Okay. So let's understand what is one lake means. So I have kept some definitions from the documentation here. Let's go through them and try to understand in a simple way so that we can frame some imagination around it. Okay. So one lake is a single unified logical data lake for your entire organization. Okay. So that means I hope you guys already know what is data lake means. We know that right ADLS Gen 2 or data lake Gen 2. So it is like a Gen 2 ADLS Gen 2 or a storage account. If you don't know what is ADLS Gen 2, try to watch some other video in the YouTube or if you've seen my data factory starting 3-4 videos, you will understand what is ADLS Gen 2 means. So it's like a storage account where you can keep all your big data files. Okay. So one lake is imagine that storage account for your entire fabric. Okay. That's what it is going to tell. And we know that fabric account will be for the whole organization. For the entire company or entire business, one fabric account will be there and inside that every project or every business group will create their own workspaces and they will work inside of it right and we know that basic idea from our previous videos so if this comparison if we compare with office then we know that there is something called onedrive in microsoft office right it is similar to that so generally you will have onedrive in the office and everything uh, like word document ppt excel whatever you create in the office it will all store in the OneDrive behind the scenes, right? Even the SharePoint uh, website related documents also get stored into the OneDrive. So OneDrive will cover everything in the Office uh, 365 account, right? The same way this one lake in the Microsoft Fabric will cover the entire organization storage. So that way it's like a single place to keep all your business data, all your entire business data at one place. Okay. So if you think before fabric how the things will be then it will be little different so let's assume you have a business so let me do one thing to explain this uh, let me go to whiteboard and uh, okay sorry so i have to open the whiteboard right so let me open the whiteboard here so if you remember i mean uh, let's take an example so let's assume uh, you are running a bank okay uh, so this is like entire business the whole business or the whole thing okay so now you have a bank it's like a whole business so bank may handle a different kind of businesses maybe checks related and loans related and then maybe retail banking blah blah right so there are different sector or different business groups in a big business called bank so if you think about this example your fabric account will be for your entire bank for your entire business and inside that fabric account you will be creating workspaces for every business group for checks department related project one workspace for loans department related project another workspace for retail banking related project another workspace so and so on so it will be that way okay but behind the scenes all these workspaces will sit on a single storage called one lake only okay and this one lake is built on top of this gen 2 ecosystem azure data lake storage gen 2 account uh, if you don't know as i said uh, watch my adf starting few videos or some video in the youtube you will get it so on top of that framework only this one lake built and one lake will be given for the entire fabric and whenever you create workspace inside that fabric for every business group you will have your own folder there in the one lake and inside that workspace related folder only you will keep your data we will see that practically also in just a bit but before fabric how the things will be is uh, the same example if you take so before fabric let's assume you have a bank and you have a different businesses as we discussed maybe check and then loans related project and then maybe retail banking related project then what people used to do so for this entire thing they create one storage account gen 2 and all the checks related business data will be there and for the loans related project another gen 2 
and for the retail banking related project another gen 2 so that means though you are part of the same business called bank for every business group you are creating your own storage accounts separately and handling the data from there at the end of the day if something at a top level business you want to understand then you have to try to integrate the data between these multiple storages and manage the things and accesses correctly and get the meaningful data out of it so that overhead of maintaining so many gen 2 storage accounts and overhead of configuring the accesses between the storage accounts all this unnecessary headache was there uh, before uh, fabric but with the fabric you will get a single storage called one lake and then every workspace is uh, indication of your separate business groups like checks loans and retail banking and whatever the data you keep a folder will be there in the one lake and there itself you can keep it so indirectly it's like a one drive like how you have one drive in the office it's like a one drive for your entire analytical data in your entire business so that's the reason like generally one drive we can access it via windows explorer right what i mean if i go to windows explorer like this i can see my one drive here right i can click this my one drive and then i can navigate to the folders and everything via the windows explorer the same way even this one drive of fabric we can access this with the uh, windows explorer i will show you that as well but we will see in the next video or in the future video how to install that uh, fabric software uh, or the one lake related software in your system that will help you to browse the one lake as if you are browsing the one drive we will see that installation part in the next video okay so so let's go to the presentation uh, and if you read this so every fabric tenant automatically uh, come provisions one one lake with no extra resources set up to manage okay as i said now within the workspace you can create data items so you know that what is workspace right we can create workspace in the fabric and we can create data items so data item means nothing but like lake databases or lake house databases or the or the data warehouses we can create that so these items called uh, data items okay so we know what is experience mean what is item means from my previous videos right it's the same item it's it's one of the fabric item lake house is one of the fabric item pipeline is one of the fabric item similarly data warehouse is one of the fabric item right so there are few items which are related to data like lake house and the uh, data warehouses if you are not sure don't worry in future classes we will discuss about them or else if you are curious uh, go to my synapse playlist and last four or five videos if you see you will come to know what is lake house database and other things so if we create in the workspace this lake house or data warehouse kind of data items then automatically all the data what you keep there it will be uh, placed in the one lake behind the scenes okay and uh, it will be placed inside your workspace related folder only i will show you that practically so that you can make sense it is similar to how office stores the uh, data related to excel powerpoints words into the one drive okay so that's what that particular sentence means and all the fabric data items like data warehouses and lake houses store their data in the one lake and uh, in which format they store they store in the delta format delta format only okay so what is delta format what is this lake house all these things in my synapse playlist last few videos it is covered we will cover in future also here so but uh, get this theoretical idea like all the data whatever we place in a fabric via this lake houses is they will be in the delta format okay and uh, every workspace what you create it will be shown as a folder or a container in the one lake uh, let me practically show you this so to explain you this let's go back to our uh, so where is that let me go back to our browser so this is our browser so right now if you look about look this browser right so let's go back to the workspaces first so i am clicking this my sample workspace and if you remember this workspace we created in our previous class now in this workspace right you see right now there there is uh, some items are already there there is one thing called lake house uh, right you see here there is something called lake house is already there right and inside the lake house there are couple of items automatically got created but don't worry already we have a workspace inside the workspace we have something called lake house so that's how that's what we have so now if i try to explore this particular one lake with this synapse uh, in my windows explorer so let me go i already installed it you can see this 
here so this is my one leg okay so you see this one so this is my one leg that which i installed in my local a software which i installed in my local that will help me to browse the entire one leg as if i am browsing the files and folders in the local okay similar to onedrive so let me click that and you see here if you can observe this all my workspaces is, i have two workspaces is, my workspace sample workspace both the workspaces came as a folders there or containers there and if i go inside this workspace and you can see there so if i zoom this you can see there i have my sample lakehouse dot lakehouse how this folder came because inside the workspace i created a lakehouse with that name so if i show you that you see here this this lakehouse is the same thing okay so this is the same thing so the same folder was created and if i open this lakehouse you see there is tables and files folder if i go to the tables right now there is no table so even if i click nothing is happening but if i go to the files there are three files and if i try to browse the same thing from my windows explorer of one leg if i go inside the folder and if you can observe closely i have something called files folder tables right now we don't have anything so these folders will be empty so let's go inside the files folder and if i go inside the files folder as you can see i have all the three files whatever we have in that particular lake house so if i upload one new file so let me go to the downloads and i am taking uh, some api pipeline.pdf file and let's come back to one lake and then here i'm pasting it and if you see i'm pasting in the same path if you can observe this path in the one lake in the workspace account in the lake house under the files i am pasting it so now once this paste complete here if i go back to the browser and if i refresh these files under my one leg you see that my pdf file also came so that means from my local i am able to access like as if i am accessing the one drive okay so how to install that so that i can access this one leg like the files and folders in my windows explorer that part we will discuss in our next class okay so if i create so let's do one thing so let's go to the workspaces and here let's try to create a new workspace so i am going to create like a demo workspace okay so that's the workspace name and i can give some description leave it and nothing so i will just uh, i won't do anything else here let it be everything and simply click this apply button to create this workspace and if you see this now the workspace got created and we are inside the workspace tab and you can see our workspace and right now there is no nothing no items has created so now let's go back to the file explorer and let's go back to the one lake now if you see here if i refresh this here right now there is no folder with my demo workspace right i will create one item new uh, i will create a lake house once again okay so let me create a lake house mm, i am saying like a sample lake house so that's what i am creating it okay so let's create that and let me hit this create button to create this lake house and let's wait for the lake house to get create see lake house got created and we it is navigating me inside the lake house you can see it here and then once the navigation completes i can see the tables and files folder and if i go into that files folder right now nothing if i try to browse the same thing here if you see i am in the one drive and uh, let me let me refresh this or i have to right click and uh, i have to do that uh, one leg sync from the one leg so let me do that sync from the one leg you see my my, my demo demo workspace folder is available there right and if i go inside the demo workspace you should be able to see my lake house as well you can see the sample lake house which i created and if i go inside the lake house i should be seeing the files as well i hope you are able to see this here right and right now if i go inside the files empty folder but if i upload some document or some file from him so i am taking this mp4 file and then i am pasting that mp4 file into my lake house inside the workspace and if you see where i pasted it here if you see that i pasted it in the one lake in the demo workspace in the sample lake house under the files folder so now if i go back to my browser and if i refresh my files here then i should see my mp4 file here so that means i am able to browse my entire one leg so in short one leg 
is a single storage so let me explain you or let me summarize the understanding so in start fabric is fabric is for your entire organization for your entire organization a fabric account will be there and for the entire account a single storage will be there and that storage name will be called like a one leg okay so this storage name will be called like a one leg so let me do control z and let me draw it well so a single storage will be there that will be called one leg now in the fabric account you will create different different workspaces for the different different subdivisions workspace one workspace two workspace three like that and for every workspace a folder will be created in the workspace in the one leg okay so workspace one folder workspace two folder then workspace three folder like that and inside the every folder whatever the data items you create it can be data warehouses it can be lake houses you will see a subfolder and from there you will go to the files folder and you will upload your files and since it's a data lake house you can create a tables as well we will see that in our upcoming classes and the data lake house tables whatever you create behind the scenes it's a delta parquet format okay so i hope you got an idea uh, some terminologies you may be unfamiliar and familiar like a delta lake house and all these things if you don't know as i said go to the synapse playlist and watch the last 3 4 videos you will get an idea so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching this video uh, and if you like this video please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much